che è una nostra ricetta. Diciamo. Una ricetta segreta. Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. We're in the mood for one of our favorite desserts today, cannoli. Here in Calabria, Harper, we have a pretty good cannoli. But we don't want pretty good cannoli. We want... The best cannoli are, unsurprisingly, in Sicily. So that's where we're headed. Our plan is to drive across the island from east to west, visiting a bunch of the most renowned cannoli makers. But first, we've got some water to cross. We're only on the ferry and already the cannoli have begun. Welcome to Sicily! Our very first stop is here in Messina. We are going to go to the Herrera Pasticceria. Apparently it's one of the best here in Messina. What is this? This is what we call, uh, they call here in Sicily, pignalata. It means a bowl of dough, fried dough, and then it's covered in a chocolate and a lemon glaze. So, Arpir, this is our first cannolo siciliano, and it's real Sicilian because we are in Messina. It looks amazing, like I remember. My mouth starts to watering, so let's dig in, Arpir. It feels like a sin to cut this in half, but I know, Arpir. we do have a lot of cannoli to eat on this trip. <laughs> See. So as you can see, they put uh, as a topping the peanuts. There aren't any chocolate chips uh, inside, so it's just straight ricotta. Buon appetito! Are we off to a good start? Here we set up a very high bar. Eagle bar. I don't know if we can find something that can beat this cannoli. The shell is crunchy, it's sweet but not too sweet, and the peanuts, they work very well. It's a very good color. I am so excited for this. It looks just amazing. Buon appetito! No words from Harper, which means that... That is phenomenal. The shell is like the perfect consistency. It's crunchy, but it doesn't just completely fall apart the moment you bite into it. The best part is the filling. It's like, if you never had a cannolo here in southern Italy in general, but especially in Sicily, you can't really understand what the filling of a real cannolo is like. The filling of the cannolo is just a simple ricotta cheese. And here in Sicily it's special, or in the south of Italy it's special because we have the best sheep ricotta. And this is very important, guys. The ricotta for a good cannolo should be sheep ricotta. It has a totally different taste. It's like, it's saltier. It doesn't have that sweet cream taste of like cow ricotta. Almost, almost slightly sour. And so then when it's sweetened, it becomes this amazing little flavor miracle. I don't really know how to top this, uh, but I'm very curious to see how they change as we make our way west. So our next stop is what appears to be a little seaside town, but apparently they make a mean cannolo. Okay, that was so bizarre. I need to recap a little bit what just happened. We found the place we were looking for, Pasticceria Armando. Then uh, we go inside because the door was open, but nobody was there. Totally dead empty. Nobody here, totally deserted. Salve. I hope that I still <laughs> at least they have a cannolo. That looks like the guy we want. I guess we're just gonna wait for a little bit outside. Then Armando showed up. Si, ci scusi. 
Ci scusi, eravamo entrati, non abbiamo visto nessuno, abbiamo aspettato dentro, poi abbiamo aspettato... Io mi chiamo Armando. I have the idea that we are in the right place for a very good cannoli. Wasn't the easiest one to get. No, but this means that also will be one of the best. <laughs> Here is a topping that we have the pistacchio and also the orange peel. It's all handmade, so I really think that this is a very good cannolo. And we have the chocolate chips. Buon appetito! I was a little bit worried because we had to try the canola like basically right in front of him and I was like, what if I don't like it and I feel awkward about being honest in front of him? There was no need. Sicuramente fino adesso il cannolo più buono che ho mangiato in vita mia. È una cosa strepitosa. La ricotta è meravigliosa. Non è dolcissima. Cioè si sente la ricotta. It's a very dense. Ricotta, but it's very, very smooth. And they don't put so much sugar like in the other cannolo. They put 50% less sugar than the others. And I can tell it's sweet, but you can feel the ricotta. Alper, you should try to understand how Yeah, I'm going to. I'm waiting. <laughs> that orange looks amazing. Go at it. All right. Buon appetito. Wow. I don't know if it's just the quality of the ricotta or if it's the fact that there's less sugar, but you taste the ricotta and it is good. It has that sheep funk to it that I love. Oh my goodness. Pecora e capra. Pecora e capra. Diciamo la verità. Ok, pecora e capra. È un mix. Ok. È una nostra ricetta. È una ricetta segreta, quindi un po' di pecora e un po' di capra. I'm glad we waited. I'll put it that way. I'm really glad we waited. And then he gave us a bunch of other like amazing delicious treats and we left with a bunch of them. If you're ever passing through Brollo, come to Armando's. Good morning guys, welcome to day two. We spent the night here in Chefalu, which by the way is a total dump, not beautiful at all. Don't bother coming here. Honestly, we weren't planning on getting a canolo here. We were just passing through, but... Someone told us that there is a pasticceria where they make very good cannoli. So we decided why not. We're waiting, it's still closed. So unfortunately we had to get it to go. We couldn't eat there. It was a really tiny place and they only let one person in at a time. But we do have our canolo. So this is our first canolo in the province of Palermo. Now it looks pretty good. As we can see on topping, for toppings we have just orange. We don't have a pistacchio, we don't have any nuts. So inside there are, uh, there is, there are chocolate chips. Uh, the, the shell is a little bit darker than Messina because here in province of Palermo they use a little bit of cocoa powder. And now the only thing that we need to do is to discover if it's good or not. The cannolo is good because the cannolo is good, but maybe it's too sweet. Very good ricotta, it's smooth, the shell is crunch. I could use a little bit less sugar. Okay, so the ricotta in this one, I taste the least of, out of all the ones we've had. It's very sweet. What I do like a lot is the shell. It just bites exactly where you bite into it. That's where it breaks off. It doesn't crack. It's not a mess in my hands because the whole shell broke. The shell's really good. I'm into the shell. One thing that you need to keep in mind when we are talking about the canola shell is the bubbles that you see on it. So a real canola siciliano, the shell, should be full of bubbles, but very, very important is that it's fresh. And for fresh, I'm not, I don't mean made it in the morning and eat in the afternoon, but for fresh, I mean that the canola 
should be filled in the moment in which you order the cannolo. Otherwise, the ricotta that is humid just make the shell wet and uh, mushy. Now we're headed to a place that is rumored to have the best cannolo in all the world. We're gonna see if that's true. So we arrived finally in Piana degli Albanesi. Piana degli Albanesi is a small village at the top, more or less, of the mountains above Palermo. It's called Piana degli Albanesi because here there is the biggest Albanian community of Italy. Another one is in Calabria. And we are here at the pasticceria di Noto to try if this is real or not. And as you can see, the cannolo here is a little bit bigger than normal. It's just cheap ricotta. They use the chocolate chips. And here we have also a small surprise that when I saw them in the window, I couldn't resist. It's called the Sfincia di San Giuseppe and it's a bignè fried twice and stuffed and full of ricotta chips. Let's try that first. Buon appetito! If they use the same ricotta here in the cannolo. Is that ricotta on top? Si, Arthur. It's ricotta on top and it's also ricotta inside. That bodes pretty well for the cannolo. Now here's a very important question. Who's gonna get the side with the orange? What are you, smart or something? So the shell looks pretty good. Is uh, darker uh, than Messina, because anyway, here we are in Paris, South Palermo. The ricotta is very, very smooth. It's not too sweet. You can feel also the chocolate chips that until now in the other cannoli, I couldn't really feel. You see how big the bubbles are right there? Big difference from this morning. Not too sweet. You can actually taste the ricotta. Amazing shell. I really think I like that cocoa that they add here. I'm gonna withhold judgment on whether this is the best or not for now, but let's just say that this is a very strong contender. So it was a long drive for Ravi, but it was a very, how do you say, worth? Worth it? Yes, absolutely yes. We had the good fortune of meeting Enyo, who told us exactly what makes their cannoli so good. Dalla sua semplicità, quindi abbiamo una semplice ricotta di pecora, la buccia, qualche goccia di cioccolato e basta. Non c'è altra formula di niente arachidi, niente pistacchi, niente nulla. cioccolato. No, niente. Stay tuned though because we're not done yet. We still have the white whale. Palermo. But first, a quick word from today's video sponsor. If you run an e-commerce business, you know how frustrating shipping can be. Sometimes it can feel like the big companies have all this sophistication, all these tools that you don't have access to. That's why you need to check out ShipStation. I used to be a shipping manager. One of the best decisions I ever made was implementing ShipStation. We were a small business with a shoestring budget, but we were able to implement barcode scanning thanks to ShipStation. It made it super easy. We didn't have to put in a big investment, but it saved us countless man hours. Business of all sizes can use ShipStation to get access to the discounted rates that Fortune 500 companies use. International shipping, no problem. ShipStation is trusted by over 100,000 businesses all over the world. They also work with over 45 carriers. You can easily compare rates and find the best deal for you. They also work with over 300 platforms so like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, all of your sales channels in one place. It's no wonder that 98% of companies that use ShipStation for one year use it for the rest of their life as a business. Sign up for a free 60-day trial at ShipStation.com slash Postagrammer. That's two months of discounted shipping for free. Once again, go to ShipStation.com slash Postagrammer. ShipStation, make ship happen. We're taking the train into the city because apparently driving in Palermo is not recommended. Ah, ah. 
mamma mia, pure la sinello, c'è a posto. 3, 4, So here we are in the neighbors of Ballarò, when there is one of the most important open market in Palermo. All around me is just a triumph of color, food, flavor, smell, and it's an adventure to come here. You can tell a lot about a city by what kind of food is in the shop windows, and by far the hero here are desserts. Here we are at the Monastero Santa Caterina, where there is a very beautiful project. The name is in Segreti del Chiostro. In this place, they make all the dessert that was part of the tradition, the sweet tradition of the convent all around Sicily. The cassata is my favorite dessert of all time is uh, this cake made with sponge cake, marzipan, uh, ricotta cheese, uh, chocolate chips, sugar and it's all decorated in a wonderful and unbelievable way that when you look at it uh, the only thing that you can think of is okay now I'm going to eat it all. And you can find Ava's recipe here. See up here there is my recipe. This is the canna the cannoli mold that the nuns used to make the real cannoli. And it's made out of cane, si? which is where the name came from. This is a big canolo. I thought the canolo in Piana degli Albanese was big, but this is on a whole other level. Which topping side do you prefer, Ava? The pistachio and orange or the chocolate chip and cherry? Oh, you choose. I'm gonna go with the chocolate chips and cherry, which is new on this trip. Buon appetito. This is big. <laughs> Wow. This is the first time I've tasted cinnamon, and thus far, I'm a very big fan. The size is both awesome and inconvenient, so I'm not even really sure what to make of that. I don't know if the size is like the best thing about this or the worst thing. You try a bite, Ava. You taste the cinnamon? Just a little bit. Yeah, it's just a hint. But just a little bit. The ricotta is very, very smooth, sweet, but not too sweet. Hard to tell it was the best canola in this region. I don't know how well you can see this, but I think this is the most like flaky shell we've had thus far. One thing I think we can say for sure is that uh, whatever ancient recipe they preserved here is a good recipe. Absolutely, that sister who made this canola, this recipe, she knew what she was doing. Picking a winner is really, really hard. All of them, they were exceptional cannot. I think part of what made a lot of them special for me was not just the canola itself, but also the discovery of it. What made them uh, special? for me was that finally, after a long time, I could have another cannoli in Sicilia. For me, the best cannolo was Armando's. I loved how we found it. I loved the person who made it. I loved the story of it. Most of all, I loved the addition of goat ricotta. That was awesome. Maybe others had better shells. Maybe others were a bit more refined, but for me, it's Armando's. I'm personally very, very attached to the tradition because I think that if something is traditional and it was made in this way for a century and century, it has a reason. My favorite one was that in Pasticceria di Noto in Piana degli Albanesi. Simple, 
clear Jericotta was just amazing. And maybe the landscape made the difference. You could feel the, in the air of Jericotta. In the end, I think we can both agree that the real winner is anyone who comes to Sicily to try a cannolo. Because let's be honest, here you can walk about into any shop randomly. Maybe it's not on some list of the best cannolo. Maybe it doesn't have any awards or recognition, but you'll walk out with a really, really yummy dessert. Grazie mille, arrivederci. Grazie. These are coming with me to Calabria. And just to make you understand how important a cannolo is here in Sicily, this is the kit, travel kit. Here we have the ricotta, the chocolate chips, and here we have the empty shell because uh, a cannolo can't travel stuffed. You know, Ava, I've been thinking about it and there's still a whole lot of Sicily we haven't visited, presumably with really good cannoli to try. Uh, yeah, but uh, what's the problem? Uh, it means that uh, we should come back. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Follow us on social media, at Pasta Grammar, and we'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao.